Hi, welcome to Vulture Media, where we explore the exciting innovations in the EV industry. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and ding the bell to set your preferences to this channel. It really helps the channel out. In today's weekly Rivian News Roundup, we will be talking about a Tesla Model S plate owner's first experience with the Rivian R1T, RJ giving a tour of the Illinois production plant. Sandy Monroe recommends that the R1T be sold at $100,000 and Africa's first R1T deliveries. It's a very likely bet that many who have taken ownership of a Rivian came from an electric vehicle and many of them come from Teslas. The transition for some of these owners is a real situation for at least one EV fan from Florida. Nils, the man behind the EV Review YouTube channel, has owned three Teslas including the Model S 70D, Model 3 Performance and Model S Plaid, one Audi e-tron GT and now a Rivian R1T pickup. He commends the R1T's build quality over Tesla's, saying that everything on the truck feels solid and you do not have the feeling that some trim pieces are going to fall off or come loose like they sometimes do on Tesla's. The sheet metal feels extremely solid and really has a truck quality type build. He commended how the Rivian's real-world range was very close to its EPA range under normal conditions. Nils particularly liked the insane acceleration at heavy truck type car like the R1T was able to do, adding to its comfortable seats and great visibility. His experience was not without downsides however, which according to him weren't many. He lists things like Rivian's recommendation to charge to 70% for daily driving while Tesla recommends 80% for Model S and X and 100% for the LFP battery equipped Model 3. The app functionality lagging behind Tesla, the lack of a glove compartment, and some other minor things. Rivian does put in a lot of effort to build these cars to have great performance and outstanding quality. Rivian released a new video where CEO RJ Scarringe gave us a behind-the-scenes look at how they built the R1T, R1S, and the Amazon Electric delivery vans in Normal, Illinois. RJ gave a walkthrough tour of the different parts and units of the factory, going through the stamping shop with six large presses that make all of the panels for each of Rivian's vehicles in-house, the two different body shops, for the R1 vehicles and the delivery van vehicles. In the paint shop, he showed how their machines are canister-based thereby eliminating the need to purge the system between color changes. RJ described the processes that take place at each stage. The tour of the manufacturing line ended at the general assembly and final inspection junctions after which the EVs are ready to be delivered to customers. Rivians has made a masterpiece of an EV with these vehicles. The engineering and thought that goes into the design and conception are commendable. Users are just blown away by its performance. So much so that those who have driven this truck say it is underpriced for what it delivers. Sandy Munro, head of Michigan-based Munro & Associates, who is known for tearing down vehicles and advising automakers on how to improve them stated that the R1T is, quote, way underpriced. Munro said the R1T, which starts at $67,500, quote, should be selling for $100,000. It's way underpriced for what it is and what it does. He also said the R1T also could use some engineering and production changes to reduce its manufacturing cost, saying the R1T has, quote, buckets of cost reduction opportunity, which is not unusual for a brand new vehicle from a first-time manufacturer. Looking at the long-term survival of Rivian and other automakers, Sandy Munro had something to say based on what he's learned from extensive teardowns of multiple EVs. He said Ford may be the only legacy automaker to survive well into the future. Meanwhile, he thinks nearly every EV startup will struggle and most will fail. Tesla's survival is not surprising to Munro, and he believes Rivian has what it takes to make it through as well. While Sandy Munro has been a well-known name in the automotive industry for years, especially in and around the Detroit area, he didn't really come onto the EV radar until he started tearing down Tesla's vehicles. Since then, Munro has moved on to deconstructing a number of other EVs, and he has plans to continue such tasks. We have to agree that RJ has put in a lot of effort into making Rivian what it is. Reason why the automaker paid a compensation package to Scarringe amounting to $422 million. Scarringe made $650,000 in salary, plus about $121,000 in security services. The rest is tied up in equity, meaning it will take years before that can be converted into cash and deposited into his bank account. And by that time, those amounts could be significantly more or less depending on how Rivian performs and if it is able to meet certain targets. Scaring won't acquire full title to much of his equity award until early 2027 when Rivian plans to start analyzing performance metrics for it. 
A special equity award accounted for more than half of Scarin's pay, including $152 million in options that will only vest if Rivian's stock price remains over $110 for a certain period of time, as well as $89 million in options that will vest over six years. So far, none have vested as the company's share prices have dropped to under $30 from an all-time high of nearly $180. According to securities filings by Rivian, the stock awards are meant to drive executives to accomplish strategic and market goals, as well as to align their interests with those of shareholders in general. Rivian recently had its first annual shareholder meeting as a public company on June 6. While in the meeting Rivian sent a letter to its shareholders, informing them that the automaker has $17 billion in cash which will support the 2025 launch and ramp of its R2 platform. While acknowledging that the journey ahead won't be easy, R.J. Scarringe highlighted Rivian's continued growth, with a backlog of over 90,000 R1 pre-orders and Amazon's initial order of 100,000 delivery van. And finally, Kenya is a country in East Africa with coastline on the Indian Ocean. Its electricity supply is very green thanks to some awesome geothermal, wind, utility-scale solar, and hydropower plants. All of these clean renewables are responsible for about 90% of the electricity generated in Kenya. Hence, it is one of the best places to own and drive an EV. There has been some slow but steady progress on the EV scene in Kenya. In late 2020, there was quite some excitement on social media in Kenya when the first Tesla Model X, which was imported privately by another EV enthusiast, arrived in Nairobi. This week, Kenya's social media pages were buzzing again with sightings of Rivian's R1T in several places around Nairobi. A user with the handle King Hysteria posted a video of the R1T looking quite at home in Nairobi traffic, driving alongside the famous motorcycle taxis. Dennis Wakaba posted another video of someone really enjoying the R1T's impressive acceleration. Local news reports that the electric trucks made their first stop at Rome, a company which specializes in electric motorcycles, buses, charging infrastructure, and energy systems. Several LinkedIn users who worked with Rome have also shared photos of themselves with the R1Ts. The four recently delivered Rivian R1T electric pickup trucks in Kenya are likely the first ones in the whole of Africa. It's great to see that Africa is not totally left behind in the race for cleaner and greener transportation. If you like this video, hit the like button. Send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.